today. Uh, I've got three verses for you. Hebrews chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. It says, So we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. For the message God delivered through angels has always stood firm, and every violation of the law and every act of disobedience was punished. So what makes us think we can escape if we ignore this great salvation that was first announced by the Lord Jesus himself and then delivered to us by those who heard him speak? Today, God spoke directly to me through these verses. But it wasn't a nice, comforting word. It was more of a mild rebuke. You see, I have a habit of kind of dismissing a passage like this as being well, no longer applicable to me. Let me explain. These verses contain phrases like, we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard. Or we may drift away from it. The message God delivered through angels has always stood firm. If we ignore this great salvation. As I read these phrases, my response is, I listen to the word every day. I read my Bible every day, choose a verse or two that speaks to me, do a chairside chat, send out a text, do a devotion. I listen to the Word every day. I haven't drifted. I believe in Scripture. I haven't ignored this great salvation. I am saved. Box checked. Mission accomplished. I'm good. No longer applies to me, right? Not so fast, says the Holy Spirit. Though I am saved, and I do read my Bible daily, it is still possible for me to drift and ignore the great salvation I've been given. I drift and ignore my salvation when I lie. When I envy, I drift and ignore my salvation when, as a believer who's been forgiven by God, I am unforgiving of others. I drift and ignore my salvation when I'm complacent, when I'm lazy. I drift and ignore my salvation when I read scripture but don't obey. That quote there. So what makes us think we can escape if we ignore this? That's a good question. Today, I heard God speak. His words weren't very comforting. They were more of a mild rebuke. And they were just what I needed to hear. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for using your word to speak to our hearts. Thank you for addressing areas of concern in our lives. Tell us in your word, those whom you love, you chasten. So Lord, even when you give a rebuke, I know that you do so because you love us. Thank you for telling me, telling us what we need to hear, not just what we want to hear. In Jesus' name.
good day. Okay, friend. Have a good day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.